Tuck. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what a way to end it. Oh, man. I mean, I wanted to give him a draw. So I'm, I'm almost certainly going to lose points. This is more than just like two games. Yeah, I guess I'll just play King's Indian here. It's a weird King's Indian. Warnick doesn't actually normally play D4, so a little bit different. Yeah, and Vornik does not play King's Indian, so kind of strange opening so far. Very strange. See what he does. Will he take or will play H? I mean, this is definitely not right. But I have to prove it. Now, I'm trying to remember. This is playable. Wait. I think this is okay. And I go take and see five. Isn't this six flag song or something? Or am I, is it, this is a Six Flags song, right? It is, yeah. It is, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know what I did here, but I'm just playing chess. Let's go here. LJL chess for 18 months. Thank you. Now I can obviously take. This is just correct. I'm playing 87 or I can trade. Very dry position, but I'm gonna take. I do have rook d8 here, but I think this is still correct. This must be correct to hit the queen. This queen e1. That's actually a good move. I guess I'll go here, try and keep pieces on the board. Back. Maybe I just go knight c6 and just play chess. Go here. Actually, that was a mistake too. I'm gonna only be able to draw this most likely. Let's go here, hit the pawn. Queen either is also good. He's just playing to draw. There's not much I can really do here. Oh, I'm lucky I can maybe. Let's go here and take. Not very pleasant, but I should be able to draw. Thank you, to Godry. Thank you, to Salty Sea. Thank you so much. Just go here. Just takes. He's very slow, though, which is kind of weird. Could I have gone queen e2 when he went queen e1? I don't know. Maybe. I'm going to go... Okay, he's trying to play h5. This could be slightly... Okay, whatever. Let's just trade. Simplify the position. Make the draw at the very least. Take an open file. Go king f7. Okay, put the pawn on the dark square. Very important here. I'm going to go here in g5. Maybe g5, g4. I have rook c5. I also have just g4, which is a little bit scary to play. Yeah, rook e5 is a good move. I'm going to go for it. It's probably wrong, but I'm going to do it. Over here. That's actually an awful move, too. Very poor. I mean, I shouldn't lose because he only has 25 seconds, but... What am I even doing here?
I guess I'm gonna flag. I'm gonna flag him. I have no shame. What do I do? Yes! Boom! I got him. I got him. Yes, there we go. You get a terminal ADD for the 500 bits. Thanks so much, terminal. That's good night of three. Maxime died. Is there pink today? So I heard. I, I heard something about it. I didn't see what it was, um, but I heard something. Uh, thank you to Parker for the Prime. Thanks so much, Parker. Appreciate it. Thank you. We have Dragon of the West for the 500 bits as well. Thank you so much, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Got E4, Queen E2. This is all very standard. I think I was playing some E5 Knight F1 against Peter, Pistol Peter Savidler the other day. Or not the other day in our Speed Chess Championship match. I'll go A4. He's going to go A6, of course. I can obviously trade. I'm going to play Knight F1. Maybe I was supposed to play E5 first. I don't know. Yeah, I was supposed to go E5, so Knight goes to the wrong square. Now, now I look like an idiot. I have to go like F4, maybe. I probably should just take first. I should. I could have done this right away, because I have Knight E5 after Knight E5. doesn't feel right at all the way I've played this probably okay it's just not great I'm gonna cover Levy's game say no um I, I don't even know what tournaments he's playing in to be honest you know I go here go here I have knight f3 it's obviously not very attractive but it's playable no I, I don't even know what the term is it's a winter invitational in, in New York okay no I mean I'm covering Tata still tomorrow um that feels somehow wrong. Let's play here and hit the pawn, maybe. Maybe I can double stack even. It's not wonderful, but I feel like I, I feel like I kind of have some play like rook a8 maybe here. Or maybe I'm just losing because I miscounted. Because I go here. If C takes, I take. I do have rook a8 here. Uh, I'm just miscounting everything here. Let's just go here. Oh, I'm supposed to go the other rook to a6. Ah, uh, what am I doing? Ah, <sighs> so bad. That was just a big mistake. I do have bishop b7. That does nothing. Let's just go here. Plays queen c2, which I'm a little surprised. It's probably still a good move, but I'm surprised by it. Let's go here. Trade all the pieces down. I mean, he gets the knight to c3, but then what? Oh, I go here, hit the pawn. Bishop f5, I expect that. Go here. Knight e5 is also not a good move. I should have played knight e1. Yeah, now, now I'm in trouble. But I still have rook a4, knight c4 or something. Maybe. Although, again, I put his knight on g4, which I never should have done either. Let's back. I have nothing better. Let's just go here. Uh, so he's trying to trade this way. Oh, he wants a knight on c5. That actually makes much more sense. No wonder he wanted to trade. I want to take, but I don't have anything better. Okay, whatever, just move. Gotta move and, and pray, basically. Okay. Here. I need some tricks here. Rook d5, I have bishop g2, and there's some tricks. Here. Go here, hit the pawn. Trying to find some last last gasp 
tricks here. Can I just take? I don't know what 92 is. Teenage three wait a second. I can also just take. I'm very close to actually not losing. If I take, I think I draw. If I take, I draw. If I go king h3, I roll the dice and try to win. Let's roll the dice and try to win. I'm going to roll the dice here. And see if it comes up black or not. There's bishop g6. I mean, go here and take? I mean, it's very scary. Should I go G4 or H5? I have G6. I win. I made him. Yes. Yes, I made him. Excellent. Two mates. You can't stop them both. Yes. Yes. Very good. You can't stop both mates. Two, uh, two of five up. Let's go here. Why am I not playing Tata Steel? I already told you guys. I'm not playing Tata Steel because I wasn't invited. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, you guys can tell me uh, if you know better than I do, but that's why I wasn't invited as far as I know. Um, and probably the main reason is because, like I said, most likely they didn't think they could afford me B. They probably just, they weren't sure if I wanted to play. And so they thought they'd just save time. Go here on Bishop D6. Okay, just, okay, this is pretty, yeah, this is not really, yeah, this is really not very attractive. Not very thrilled by any of this. Okay, you can go like, um, I can play queen a5. Is bishop h6 actually a problem is the question. It might actually be a problem. Whatever. I, 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 don't, I, I live to play chess. I don't worry about some silly bishop h6 where I can go f5. I actually should probably have thought about that more because okay he doesn't do it so now we just play chess we just go here castles very standard chess thing is however my opponent doesn't really want to cat okay so he's basically saying he's going to move the king manually and his king is safe so i do have to be careful so i'm going to try to chop the center immediately with c5 and castle before i castle i can still castle kingside maybe under the right conditions as well Okay, he goes bishop c3, so he closes off these weird rook ideas. So now I will just castle. And again, now he can't really castle easily. Very tricky position for both sides here. One wrong move and both of us could easily just lose the game on the spot. Just that. I think that's a mistake. It feels like a mistake. Maybe it's not, but it feels like... Can I go here? Maybe 90, 95 was maybe a better move. I don't know. I think 95 was better. Go here, I guess. Try to put pressure on the pawn on g2. I have like queen c6, maybe. My idea, at least. Feels like a very spotty situation for both sides. This rookie three, that's a pretty reasonable move. I can't go f5. I don't want to go queen c6 here, just hit the pawn. I mean, he can go g3, but he's, he's angling a little bit. Okay, I'll trade, I'll trade. Go here. I guess he has rook h4 still, but I have knight e5 maybe, or knight c5. I kind of like knight c5. Or maybe just maybe just f5 and knight f6 is actually pretty simple. Just try to play and win this pawn on the uh, on the edge. Okay, I'm gonna go a6. Stop any weird knight b5s. Now I'm just gonna come back and gobble the pawn. It's a little, it's quite primitive um, in its very nature, but I think it's okay. Oh, he's got rook a4. Shoot. I go here. Probably only a draw, even though I'm up a pawn. Yeah, it's just a draw, I guess. Go here, rook c2, take the pawn. Very drawish. Unless I can find some trick, I'm trying to see. 
Huh. Want candy. That's an interesting movie. Going to G3, I would have made the draw instantly. But by going to F1, I actually want to play on now. G4, like, I'll take. If you gone to any, if you gone to G3, I would have made an instant draw. But by going to F1, I mean I'm definitely playing on here. I could have traded too, but I don't want to. More pawns on the board means more chances to win. So okay, I guess I have to take. I don't have a choice. Maybe King E5 or something. I know I have chances, but it's hard to prove anything. Okay, let's go here, Knight F4, I guess. Wait, check. Oh, he's got. Okay, I'm going to tickle him. Okay, I'm going to go knight of five, I guess. Still very tricky. Whatever, I, I, I can flag him again or play rook and knight versus rook. If there is a technique. Okay, good stuff. Three up, two more to go. Think about four head for the tier one. Has any guard played on eat on stream? I think I have. Yeah. Okay, I think he's done. He's not happy about that. Yeah, he's not happy about that. So, or oh no, he oh no, he's ready to play more. Okay, never mind. Okay, let's keep going. Or is he? No, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe. Oh no, he moves. Okay. Go B three here. Do I think I can beat XQC in a chess game? No, probably not. XQC is extremely strong. I got queens off the board. Yeah, I mean, a flagatron. Yeah, let's go here in D3. Let's go here and take. Um, I mean, it happens. Sometimes you're the mouse. Sometimes you're the mouse. Sometimes you're the bug. Um, sorry. Sometimes you're the windshield. Sometimes you're the bug. Just life. That's how it goes. I'm gonna play A3 and B4 here. This is very similar to my game against Peter Svidler. He said I only know how to flag. I assume you're trolling. I, he's not streaming, is he? Or is he actually streaming this or not? You guys can tell me. Is he streaming? Oh, he is. Ah, okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, flag's part of the game, though. Funny thing with Bornick, though, is he's gotten a it's weird because he's gotten a lot slower over the years. There used to be times when I would just lose any of these sorts of um sorts of uh time scrambles against him. I don't know why they put the rook on E1 either. There were times that I would um that I would actually just like lose these scrambles. So it's kind of weird because as I've gotten older, I should be slower than he is because he's still younger than I am by a pretty hefty margin, I think. I'm gonna play ah, H4 feels wrong, but whatever. I can play H5. I mean, I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm just playing I'm kind of aimlessly making moves that don't really have any purpose at the moment. Because B4, I'm actually a little surprised by that. He wants C5, C4. I understand this concept. It'll, at least that much makes sense. I guess I'll go here. I'm going to go here and Bishop F4. C4 I take and the Knight's under attack. This doesn't do anything. C4 I still just... I uh, maybe wants Knight B... Wait, what? What? Wait, I'm a little confused. Oh my god, I just hung C2. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just went blind for a second there. Okay, let's go Queen G4. Oh, that's so unfortunate. But at least H6 is... Okay, I take. Wait, there there actually is some play here. Wait a second. Okay, 
Okay, so I, I mean, I have to take. I mean, I guess I just take, of course. Yeah, this just loses. Oh, I fell asleep at the wheel for one second. I have something better is the question. It's five. Ah, uh, Rook D4, of course. Just Rook D4 and I'm better. Maybe not better, but I'm completely fine, I think. Actually, even Knight D4 with me is okay. Okay, because B3, I mean... I mean, I... I don't know about B3, actually. Wait. I don't know why he gave me this pawn. There was no good reason for that. Because B2, do I have E6, B1? But B2, Queen F5 is also, I think, very scary. Wait a second. So I'm threatening a mate. I'm also covering H5. I'm also covering B1. He might have made a big mistake here. Because he can't go Queen G6 because I just take. I think he made a big mistake. Because Rook C7, E6 is extremely scary here for Black. I think I'm going to win anyway. Thank you to Lethal Lot for the Prime. Thank you to Perilous for the Prime. I mean, unless I'm missing something very obvious, which I don't see. I mean, of course, I go E6, obviously. He made a huge mistake here. He's going to have to queen, I think, and just play a losing position. He's getting made. It takes, takes... Okay, I mean, he goes G6. I mean, this looks insane, but maybe he's still surviving. Looks so questionable. Um, if I go queen E4, he's rook B4. Or, I mean, it feels like I have to have something here, but I just don't see it right off. Maybe I just go queen b queen b1. I can also just maybe maybe I'm, I'm just gonna go here. This doesn't feel right, but I'm gonna play it. We need two, so he's trying to take the rook. Of course, I, I mean I, I have to I have to take go here because now i cover the back rank again the bishop covers and i hit this i mean somehow i'm still in this game i don't know how but i i am i bishop f4 wait wait a second speaking of uh, speaking of that let's go here what is the oh there's still our tricks okay so i take i go here consolidate right but now i have h5 i think he can't take side rook h1 actually he's just lost if he goes here i go here if he goes on the dark squares i take with the check he's just lost i think okay he goes there take oh i have no time actually i just realized Yes, yes, yes. Bad moves, and we still get the win. There's an injured defense after H5, whatever. We're, we're, we're only human, as Agent Smith would say. If, if I can't find it, Borda can't find it, so be it. We're, we're only human. Um, I'm going to do something weird. I'm going to play Bishop G4. This is actually not a very good move, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. Go here and Bishop G7, I guess. Play G4. Okay, interesting choice. I'm gonna play h5. I don't know if it's a good. Uh, okay, now I'm gonna play knight 6, knight d4. This is gonna be a very weird game. It's gonna get, be, this is gonna be a very cloggy ish kind of position, I think. It's gonna be a very weird game. Knight d5. I don't actually like that move. Wait. Knight b4. Oh, he's got queen e2. What am I smoking? Play knight d4, it looks kind of sketchy. 
Might be four fills like the bad way to play this. Queen a5, bishop d2, maybe? Queen a5, bishop d2, knight d4. Whatever, let's just go for it. This bishop is really good, actually, as it covers the file. If I, if, if I ever go here and trade, this bishop stops me from putting anything on this open file, which is why I'm not playing knight d4 right away. Okay, does it. So I go here. I'm going to move the queen. Oh, he plays. It's interesting. I didn't think this was actually all that great for white. Because I can play f6 or something. Um. Yes. Oh, wait. No, no. Bishop c7. I have knight b5. What am I smoking? I have knight b5. Please do puzzles. Uh, not right now. I'm enjoying Blitz. I'm trying to get my rating up. My rating is just a little bit too low at the moment. At first, I thought this this was just winning pawn, but I have knight b5, which guards everything. Plays bishop c3. I mean, this looks scary at best. I mean, he can take. This just does not look right to me. I mean, I go... I think I just go here and rook f4. I mean, this maybe it's okay for white, but it feels very questionable long term. Go here. I'm just gonna go here. I've rook h4 at some point. Okay, now I'd love to put my pieces somewhere. You know what? Actually, my king doesn't belong here. I, ha I have a very deep idea that I'm going to try to play here. Let's, we'll see if it works or not. Okay, Rook C, oh, Rook C one's a good move. I missed this idea by him. Now I have to go A5. And now I wanted to run my king. I want to be a genius, like a hero. Oh, but I still have B5 at some point, actually. I just realized. I can still go for this. It's still maybe problematic for white. So I can also use this pawn. I can use this people to distract him on the king's side. I really wanted to run my king all the way up, but whatever. Let's go for it. Um, I mean, I feel like these two pawns should be good. I mean, I, I have two pawns that I can run up both sides. So here, king a7. Oh, I had C4, which is probably winning, too. Wait. Let's go C4 here. He can't take because of the check. I mean, the pawns are so fast here. I can also go B3, D3, B2. I think this must be winning. Go here. If he takes, I go D3. I always have D3 to open the diagonal here. Yeah, I think he's just lost. But I have too many peepos here. I also have this peepo going up. It's the, it's the wide what the wide people here. I mean, D three must be right. King E three. I mean, again, too many too many peoples. Which G four? I don't care. I will just take. I go here. He can't take. It takes. I mean, too many peoples. Here, I have bishop g1, I think, at some point. I'm definitely winning here if I play this correctly. Let's go here. Maybe not, though. Queen e7, rook e1. Wait, what am I doing? I think bishop g1 is gg. Yeah, it's... Oh, it's not a win. Shoot, I messed this up. What the heck?
think it is Thunderstick for the Prime. Crazy game. How do I sleep at night flagging poor old Bornick? Bornick's younger than I am. I'm the old one here. Bornick's not old at all. He's like 25. He's a young, he's a young spry guy. I'm the old one. Aren't you 27 though? No, but I mean, joking aside, Bornick's pretty young. I mean, Bornick's much younger than I am. I mean, I'm like, I'm, I'm 34. He's like 26. Like, seriously, you guys. Yeah, Bornick is nine years younger than me. Like, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm the old one here. Uh, did you see Ben Feingold's tweet last evening? Poor Ben received hate from his Twitch chat. No, I didn't see that. You're 34, you look 22, thanks. What what happened with Ben? What happened with Ben? I can play 95 here. I think it's a good move. I'm going to play it. It plays Queen H3. Strange move. Um, not a bad move, but a strange move. I feel like there's some trick in here. I'm gonna go for it. I don't, I don't know if it's right, but I'm gonna go for it. And it has to go here. I mean, I expect this. I just assumed I had some tactics, but maybe I don't. Actually, I don't really. I'll go here and bishop f4. This isn't what I wanted at all. Okay, but I can still take the file, which is somewhat import important here. I don't care about this pawn. He can just take it. I'm going to go here. I'm going to play against this bad knight, basically. This knight is not very good on f8. Go here. He's got a bad knight. If, if I can somehow play against this knight, I have chances. Maybe I should have gone h5 right away. I'll do it now. Go here. I want to go bishop h4 or something. Ah, uh, but it doesn't do much. Yeah, this isn't going to actually work. I'm going to have to try to make a draw here. It's a little bit too slow. 6a4 is no good. I'm also moving a little bit too slowly, as I just realized. Uh, so I can take on b5 and go rook d4, queen a7. It's not very enthusing. 8, a3, bishop b7, a2. I'm trying to come up with something. I have to do this. I go here, of course. I still have bishop d8 now. I think I should just take on a4. Let's just take. Don't know why I did that either, but I did. Okay, let's go here. At least my king side is very compact. His knight is still very, very bad on f8. It still doesn't have squares. Just there. Okay, so I have to find a way now to activate everything. Maybe just here. And queen g1, I just take. This knight is so bad that, like, maybe I have some miracles here. If this knight wasn't stuck, I would just resign the game. Again, he's somewhat slow. Queen a6, I guess. I've, I, I have the time. I just have to find a move here. But ugh. let's go here. I'll give knight d7. I mean, I assume I can just go back. He plays knight d7. Just queen a7. Um, I'm just gonna play a random move here. Go 
here. I feel like I'm starting to slip a little bit. Definitely feel like I'm slipping. I, I, I gotta move quicker. Is there a mate here? There's probably a mate, right? Or not? Queen of one, G5, the other's a mate. There we go. I think Ukita saying you can morph the tier one. Um, let's go back to C6. Uh, when is when, as we like to say in the in, in, in old Russia. When is when? That was not a good game, but that was the one game that he actually should have won. That was a game where he was clearly better, had everything working, and just it didn't quite happen. Okay, let's go back to this bishop g4 i don't know like i wasn't thrilled by my position but i thought i got what i wanted somewhat now i'll take i go here and play the same knight c6 knight d4 knight d5 i'll just go f6 of course mm, let's go f6 anyway i'm gonna go f5 anyway it's a little bit risky playing like this because I, I concede the square I'm gonna take with a pawn maybe wrong maybe right who knows go here i still have f4 at some point it was a little bit sketchy i don't like bishop g5 feels wrong so now i go f4 i have h6 and i have knight g6 i mean it feels a little bit wrong I go h6 he takes so i think knight g6 oh wait knight g6 i think i take with a pawn because i still have a grip I still have a grip on this dark square somewhat, so I'm going to take with a pawn. It doesn't mean it's great, but it's a grip. I think you're a tie wear for the prime. Thank you so much, tie wear. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. So you take, so I take, I keep the grip on the dark square, the, the only square that really matters in the game. If he can't push, eventually I get the knight. The, these knights are jumping. So we'll see what he does here. Knight d5, very reasonable move. Actually, he's getting f4 anyway, I guess. Ugh. I can play h6, maybe? Knight f4, wait a second. I have to think about this. There's, there should be something here. What is the move? I guess it's just knight f4. And I hope. And I pray, basically, that somehow I can do something. Go here because if I get knight f3, I mean, I'm still getting grip g5. Okay, that's that's a pretty reasonable move. Uh, he wants queen d5, that's what he wants. Okay, so I just go, I go here, he does it anyway. So I take the pawn, that's probably just a draw. Wait, I actually have to be very careful here. Wait, I actually have to be more than careful. But I thought I could... Actually, I thought this was just an easy draw after b6, but it's not. Still probably... I still think this should be a draw. I'm just not sure how easy it is. Of course, I pushed the pawn. Push the pawn. Again, Bornix completely misplayed this for no good reason. He's basically let me get this past pawn. I mean, it's, I, I guess he can draw this with correct play, but this feels very sketchy. 
here. Very sketchy. Very, very sketchy the way he's played this. Ooh, this is not easy at all for white. You need a barnacle for the 17. Wait, what? Wait a second. This is still so close to winning somehow. Oh, I feel like there should be some trick. I go bishop g5. Oh, then rook c6. Seven king e2. Maybe there's just nothing here. Maybe I just make the draw. Uh, I really don't want to have to go c2 and try to draw this. Um... I just have no good moves here. Yeah, I have no good moves. I, I just have to do this. If I'm lucky, I draw. So I'm unlucky, I lose it. But it sh I, um, I'm already misplaying this pretty quite poorly. I have drawing chances because of the pawns. Let's go here. Probably I'm losing here, undoubtedly. There. I guess I take. I mean, why not? Whoa, he really goes there? Interesting. Go here. I mean, I'm fine with a draw here. I mean, if he doesn't want to draw, fine. Okay, I mean... Okay, it's still a draw anyway. I should not have played rook a3. I sacked the rook like an idiot. I panicked. I thought I I thought it was I thought I had more time there than I did. Thank you to Paw, thank you to Frosty Dog, thank you to Omnigod. That was actually very poor by me. If I don't sack the rook, I should have flagged him. I almost got it there, yeah. Almost. Eh, it happens. PC is lagging lately. What do you mean my PC is lagging? What do you mean my PC is lagging? That was just, that wasn't the PC. What are you talking about? Oh, I had E6 there too, which I missed. What do you mean the PC is lagging? It was, it was like, it was a lucky draw for him for most of the way, but then when I played Rook A3, it was a very lucky draw for me. Like that game cut both ways. I mean, he probably loses like 90% or more if I don't sack on, uh, if I don't sack on A3. But at the same time, once I sack the Rook for the Bishop, it's like, uh, I mean, there's probably like, he should probably win that like 90% too. So it goes both ways. You thought he wasn't trying to flag? Well, I mean, I was basically offering a draw when I tried to trade the rooks. So that's why I was confused when he didn't take it, actually. So I went rook, rook f8, rook f7. I mean, I was literally trying to just force a draw. I, I was trying not to actually flag him. And then he's like, no, I want you to flag me, basically. Okay, I have rook a1 here, which looks pretty simple. So it's just very confusing. If he goes rook b2, I have rook a8, I think. Oh, queen b2. Interesting choice. Okay, obviously I take. I'm a little confused by his play here. I feel like I'm doing quite well. It doesn't look right. Flag me, daddy. I mean, I like I offer the rook exchange because I'm saying, okay, look, I'm up 10 seconds. I want to draw. And then he's like, no. And by the way, chess.com's got to get rid of this. I don't know if there's a way for me to get rid of it. Um, But just so you guys see, again, like, why is there this... um? Why is there this uh, X slam for on on a move 11? E takes off six. Like, they got to they gotta get rid of that. I mean, they got to get rid of that. That's just, they, they got to get rid of that. <laughs> C3 
saves time from Googling? Yeah. Okay, I don't like Queen A5 at all. I'm actually, I should just be much better here if I play this correctly. It's a very bad knight, a very bad bishop, very bad pawns too. Um, looks fine. B8, logical move, of course. I can play G3, I can play Knight E2. Huh, I kind of don't want to go Knight E2 here. Oh, Queen E3 actually is a move, because D4 I just take. What am I doing? Yeah, I can actually just play Queen E3, because I take the pawn. I thought this was a fork, I missed it. I can just take and then move my Knight back, and I'm fine. Uh, Chess.com is getting sick of is sick of getting reports for hacking when on passant happens. Ah, okay. I guess I can see that, kind of. Now, the funny thing is here, I really, I actually want to play a miniature. I'm going to take, this isn't what I would normally do, but I want to try to play a miniature to show you guys just how bad this pawn structure is and just how bad his knight and his bishop really are here. Like, rook a7 looks very logical. I have rook c7. I mean, these pieces are just, this pawn structure is so bad. And his bishop and his knight are super clumsy. Like, he also can't jump. So... I think I'm going to win this game, too. He's way down on the clock. Looking very, very pleasant. Cannot complain about this position. Very, very good. Whoa. Um. Whoa. I have 95 here. I have 90. Whoa. King of seven. Just, that looks like a crazy man move to me. 95 king of seven. I mean, I, it's actually, I actually like the concept the more I look at it. It's just, it feels somehow very dupe. Oh, I have knight g5, knight h7 also. But I don't like that. Rook c7 looks like the right approach to me. Oh, and now I just blunder this. Just great. Lovely. I'm still going to be able to flag him, but this one I'm pretty upset about because I should have been able to win this one on the board. That's just game. Another one. I think it's a bucket hunter for the prime. Thank you so much, bucket hunter. Appreciate it. Thank you. There we go. Another win. Pretty good stuff. Pretty, pretty good stuff. I think it's not Sinatra for the five months. Like, let's go back to basics. I'll play the same line. Ah, uh, bishop f4. Okay, I guess here and here. But um, but um, but da da da. Now I don't really like the way he's played this because I think he's a little bit loose. I think I'll just go f5 right away and knight f6. I'm gonna go g3 and knight f4. Oh, he just wants to play an end game. Wow, I'm a little surprised by this. I feel like these pawns are all a little bit soft here. I don't really like the way that Bortnik's playing this. Doesn't look very good. It plays h6. I can obviously go knight f6 here, consolidate the position. Very weak pieces here. Just king d7 and move the rook. Ba-da-dum, ba-da-dum, ba-dum, ba-da-dum, ba-da-da-dum. It goes rook g1. I mean, I have knight g4. I feel like I'm much better somehow. I just have to prove it. Um, and rook g5 is a move. Knight g4, knight h5. King e7, f3, no. Probably I should just develop. Just move the king, move the rook up. Oh, I gave knight e2, though, which I shouldn't have. That was a mistake. Oh, that was a fairly serious mistake by me. I guess I'll go here to go knight e3, maybe. Although again, this is a mistake. Oh, he doesn't he doesn't take advantage of it. He could have played rook f1 there. Knight f4, pretty reasonable. I guess I just go here and knight d5. Offer the trade, go rook g8. 
not gonna be easy to win this but i should be better here he's, he has two weak pawns in this end game I'm gonna go king e2 king f2 and i'm probably gonna go, like eventually oh he does goes there okay i'll go here keep an eye on both pawns very human now i'm probably gonna go for a minority on the uh queen side at some point like i have rook b8 i guess i'll go here eventually i'm probably gonna try to go after this pawn on h6 just a question of when if he goes g4 i go back or g8 I want to go a5 b4 as well Play a5 and go b4 i guess but i don't really like it i can go a4 and then rook c8 <clears throat> okay now b4 is a move but i think what i want is before i go for that i think i want to get my king over a little bit here to target this pawn i can go here going after this one okay now i'll go b4 now i time down to this pawn and now i play on the other side with my other rook i should win this game thoughts on hans is revenge i don't know what you mean by revenge i have no idea what you mean by that plays g4 which i think is actually a very good move or is it maybe it's not I don't know what you mean by Hans's revenge. I actually have no idea what you mean by that. I actually, just do I take here first or no? I think I take here. I go here and King G6. And now my king is very safe. Now my rooks are very active too. Of course, I take. Go here. I think I go here. Because now rook h5 I take and I have rook f3 check. I take rook. I don't see it, so I'm gonna. Maybe there's a mate. I don't see it, so I'm gonna go for it. Wait, but. Is this actually a draw or do I have a way to survive? Wait, this threat is rook h4. Three, king to two, rook g3, rook one h4. I don't see it. I don't see the win. Because here I go here. If he checks, I just go come up. Now I go here and I go rook f3, and now he's actually getting mated instead. There we go. Juliet Tavitanova, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Play B3, I guess Bishop B2 here. Never gets old. I mean, it's just chess, you guys. It's just chess. But chess does never get old. It's an evergreen game. It goes on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Um, let's go E4, Queen E2, of course. Probably play Bishop. I actually, he hung a pawn there, which I could have taken advantage of. I'm going to go A4 here. This is what I did against Pistol Peter Savidler. I'm going to go Rook B1, Knight F1, H4. He plays B5 again. I think I was still playing Knight F1 against Peter. It was good enough for Peter, who's, I mean, obviously a stronger player. Then it should be good enough for Bortnik, too. We'll see. Do I still have Micron? Um, I mean, I've been in and out of Micron a lot over over the last like year or so, but I don't have it right now. In fact, I don't really own anything in tech, which is kind of funny. All right. 
Um, I think I'm gonna just go H4 here. And obviously take on B5. I can also double stack the rooks at some point. Oh, Micron, Omicron, whatever. Yeah. Um, okay. So he plays Rook C8. Lo very logical move. I mean, I can play H5. I don't know if it's a good move, but I figure long term, if anything, it has to be good. So I'm just going to play it. Interesting choice. I don't really understand Bishop C5. Who am I, King? I can take, but then I take, and I get kind of a structure that I think I'm happy with. Oh my God. I blundered Bishop D4. Whoops. Or did I blunt? No, wait, I have F4. I also have AB5. Why am I so insane? I just go F4. I'm, I'm just insane. Completely fine. Because now I can also take on B5. Completely insane. Uh, my closed caption changed O micron to I'm a crime. I'm a crime, exactly. Uh, Queen C3. So the funny thing is I can actually... Oh, wait, no, I can't. He takes with a pawn. I guess I'm just going to... I don't really want to trade queens. I think I'm going to try to do... Now, I don't want to trade queens, but I will trade. It's an end game. I'm up 30 seconds again. Not really better here, but not really worse either. Yeah, I see his ideas. I'm just going to keep pushing. You can go knight b6, but I always have f5. I should have played rookie one. It gives me f5 here. I'm going to go for it, of course. Because now knight d7, I have king f4. Oh God, I just blundered again. Okay. Ugh. I'm still maybe, I'm only slightly worse here. I'm kind of trying to play this. Cause he, he has a bad night. I mean, I guess we both have bad nights, but go here. Try to route my knight maybe around. It's worse for me, but it's not as bad as it should be. If I get the knight to e4, I'm probably fine here. Very weird, but somehow I'm not actually just lost because of the pawn. The pawn structure is a big problem for black. There are a lot, there's a lot of Swiss cheese. There's c4 and there's also e4 here. You get a sip kiss, thank you, Carboos for the prime. Thank you so much. Okay, it goes there. But now I go here and I have king f4 even. I mean, it's not trivial for black not trivial at all f8 wow um let's go here just consolidate my king i'm gonna have 94 is a big threat too uh oh no it doesn't work okay what do i do i guess i just uh, i can't move the bishop any as f6 so I just move my king i'll give him a, i guess i give him a draw again if he wants it um I mean, Bishop G4 is just a draw. Can I try to cheese him somehow is the question. I'm going to try to cheese him with Knight H3, Knight F4. Let's go here. Okay, let's go for it. I mean, it's the last game of the set, so might as well. Bad move by me. Very bad move. Thank you so much for the gift of subs. Um, I just got to move. Tuck. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> what a way to end it. Oh man. I mean, I wanted to give him a draw. I mean, I wanted to.